Hi everyone, it's me Paula and I'm here to do a really really quick video. Um, hopefully it's quick. I just received this piece of furniture there and um, I it was outside of my neighborhood. Um, it was supposed to go to the trash. So I asked my boyfriend and there goes my dog always being noosey. Bye bye. <laughs> so my neighbor was going to throw it away. So I asked my, my boyfriend to, um, to ask her, you know, to make sure that she was going to throw it away because it was outside. And it's in really good condition, but I just want to share with you guys the mess that I have going on. And let me see if I can show you guys. There goes my crazy floor. But it's just this piece here, and it's really, really big. Um, It's probably about six feet long. Like this. And I'm going to be taking this, all of this out, and I'm going to be um, taking, because I have, I don't know if you guys can see, under there I have those pieces of crates, milk crates. And I want to throw all this out and um, so I can put this, so I can put that there. And I like it because it has shelves and I was looking for a way to store like my my cutting mat, my scoreboard, and my trimmers. And this is perfect for that. So that's what it looks like. And hopefully I will do a before and after. And this is what, let me just do a quick overview. There goes my flowers and my package from Julie. I will be making a video on that later on. And... So let me see if I can move back without falling. So yeah, I'm gonna be removing all of this right here, and um, hopefully, tuck this big wood piece back there and have everything organized. Hopefully, so wish me luck, you guys. I will come back and um, and show you guys how it looks afterwards. Okay, so thank you so Again, much, for everyone. Watching. So I am here, and this is how it looks. Um, I brought in that piece there that you guys see, that big brown piece, and I wanted to paint it white, but I had to put it away because everything was right here in the middle of the room and I really wanted to just, you know, kind of just put it away. And I'll do that some other time, maybe whenever I I move and get a house, maybe I can just, you know, paint all the furniture white before moving in. But for now, that's how it looks. So I vacuumed the floor. It doesn't look all crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, So this is what it looks like. So I left that white piece there with the metal bracket. So that's right here is the wood piece that I had laying there. If you guys remember, I'll, I'll try to attach the first video to this one so you guys can see the after um, and the before and after. So that's what it looks like. Um, let me just come over here. I really didn't organize this piece here. Um, I just left it as it is because I know exactly where everything is at. And um, so, yeah, that's just how it looks. And it's too hot. <laughs> so I left it like that. Um, I added these two things here. These are real big, um, things to add. And in here, what I have is like a bunch of stuff to alter. So I have like a bunch of these here that Laura sent me, some that I purchased, um, a lot of stuff to alter, you know, and to just have fun altering. So that's that. And then on this one, I have all my laces and trims and this is how I have them. Kind of like this in these boxes and I just cut off regular bo um, boxes and you know just have it like this and on top of that I have this where I store most of my stickers and I don't have a lot of stickers um these are mainly dollar store stickers so I really use them I like when I do crafts I really use I rarely use stickers that's what I meant to say Here's just the ones that I have. From here, I left this piece here, and I don't know if you guys know, but um, where my boyfriend works at, he, the store owners, they were gonna throw this away, and this is just one of these M&M containers, and it has three. It was four shelves, but I took three of them out and put them here, and the other one is on the other side. Here I have some of my punches that I um have, and I'm slowly building my collection little by little. So that's the ones there. I have the tools and. Sorry for the background noise, you guys. The people outside are crazy here in Philadelphia. <laughs> um, this is where I have my 12 by 12 piece of papers. This is my 6 by 6 pieces of paper. And they look like this. Um, this is Happy Mail that I have to share. This is paper scraps, and I just have them in here. Um, more papers. Here's this little thing here that I have, like, glue sticks and metal embellishments all sorts of things here I have um, 
like this type of trim um mesh bling and then you guys when you guys go to the dollar store be on the lookout for these things these this was actually a headband i forgot to show this to you guys but I, all i did was cut off the elastic and you have a really pretty piece to work with and you can use this you know for for flower centers and you know all that good stuff so just be on the lookout for that um that's the outside of my window um here i added this piece that was on the other side i added it here and i stacked all of my pencils and this kind of stuff in here that looks the same um i got a printer you guys so i'm hopefully going to start making um sentiments printing them out and have them on hand because i don't have many sentiment stamps and i don't really want like to be honest i'm really lazy to use the um the ones that go on the acrylic blocks because i don't feel like looking for the sentiment opening the bag um then you know putting it on the acrylic box i mean on the acrylic block and stamping and then putting everything away i i don't know i just i guess i craft like fast i want to do things fast so i'm just gonna print out the sentiments and um so yeah that's what's there my little lamp um my pegboard which is some stuff some stuff is empty because i moved stuff around um here is like my small trims and my small like little pieces like this that are maybe less than a yard and some of Nat's trims are in here so i just put all the trims in here these are like my little tiny trims um this is just a regular soup box i just i didn't even alter it or anything i left it like that but down here i have my scoreboard and my two paper trimmers that i use the most um, and then that just has regular supplies like um, to make card and stuff here I have a random little thing for the pegboard and then this is just um, fabric rosettes that I have to purchase some more this is stuff to alter this is just like a bunch of bags and stuff envelopes to make you know mini albums here Billy opens this is where I put my stamps and this is my recent I don't know if I showed you guys, but this one to make like um, little girl stuff and boy regular stamps. Here are my wood stuff. So like these things, these little banners that I haven't altered yet. Here is my tools. So my pliers, my um, my thing for my bind it all, my distressor is in here. These things, which I recommend, these are the hot glue gun helpers and if you guys um it comes with this piece here this is a little finger thing and you can um like hold down the glue with it and you won't get burned and this is the glue doesn't stick to this so it's really really good and it comes with a mat as well and i think it was like 17 dollars on amazon and the mat i just cut off a piece so that's where i have it and then i put my glue gun there so all like this is an example i left my hot glue on my hot glue gun on high and these things they just literally just you know peel off like this real simple so you know it's really easy to clean and you don't mess up your desk or anything like that so i had that there sorry to make everyone dizzy let me just step back again so yeah that's that's what that um is there here are my inks hopefully i'm not boring you guys here are some of my paper flowers more paper flowers here from Recollections and some that Belinda sent me. Here are my tiny little flowers. I have them here. My tiny little cherry blossoms. I love this using these flowers. Super cute. Um, here I have, I don't even know what this is. I guess sprays. Yeah, sprays. So, and here are like my, uh, my blink stuff. I have them there. Down there, I have these two things of flowers, and when I'm going to do a project, all I have to do is just remove the box, put it on my table, you know, take out what I need, and then just put the box back. So, see the box. So, yeah, this piece, um, my next door neighbor, she threw it away, and I told my boyfriend to just um, grab it because I knew it was going to be perfect for here. And there I have more stuff, um, some of my pearl trims. Oh, let's see if I can open it. So that's just my pearl trims. Here I have random stuff. And this is this piece here on here. This was I had to remove a layer of that because it didn't fit and I wanted it to have like a little gap for my trimmer and for my little um for my scoreboard. 
so I removed it and I just added it here then I added this on top to create like a little shelf and this is removable you know and that's what it looks like um then you guys know my paper flower stash my big shot is over there and then the piece of wood that I had over there on this side I just put it here so that's what it looks like it's not pretty to look at but I have it there just in case in the future I decide to move a different desk area or whatever. You know, I just have it there. Um, this is just a crazy mess. I just have my my iPad charged HDMI and I don't have any speakers or surround sound. So I use that as my little um music thingy for my room. So yeah, that's all you guys. I hope you guys enjoy my video. Um, hopefully I didn't bore you guys to death. <laughs> but um so yeah, and that's where my dog always sleeps at when I craft. She's always under there. I don't know where she's at now. Peppa. She's right here. Say hi. Say hi, Peppa. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. And there she goes to her little bed.